Good morning, Warsaw. This is the phone project, and in this video, I'm going to give you a few hints on getting started and how to fit your phone correctly into the case that you develop. So, let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and create a new part. And then I'm going to go ahead, and I've already measured out my phone so I know the dimensions of it. The top was, for me I got 2.59 so I'm going to add like 0 0.02 to that so that it's slightly larger than my phone but just ever so slightly. So 2.61 and I believe the side of mine was about 4.91 so I'm going to say 4.93 for the side so I have developed my phone. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the edges. So you can't see this right now but I'm holding the phone in my hand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out one, zoom in one. And if you ever have done that before you might notice that the object gets larger and larger every time you roll back and forth with the scroll wheel mouse. So I'm going to zoom out a couple times and zoom in until I reach a point takes a second there um, where right now I'm holding up the phone and it aligns pretty close to the lines on the side now while holding those while holding my phone I'm going to go ahead and use either an arc or a spline and I'm going to draw out roughly a place where the corner is going to fit right there boom so I just drew out one of my corners Looking at my phone, I can tell that all four of my corners are, are the same, or look pretty close to the same, so I don't have to draw all four of them, just having one will suffice. What I could do now is I could draw a couple center lines on my phone, like so, and since I want them to be center lines, I'm going to make them sure they're half the distance of the overall distances, so this would be... 2.61 divided by 2 and this one would be 4.93 divided by 2 and I'm going to move these outside the part in order to stay true to the rules and everything. So I'm going to use those lines now and I'm going to use the mirror tool to mirror the arc so I clicked on it then I go to mirror line I click on my mirror line, I hit apply, and it will create that on the other side, and I'll just rinse and repeat. I'll click this for my mirror or for my select for my mirror line. I'll click on that, I'll click apply, and then I'll do it one last time. Click on that. Mirror line would be this top one again. Click apply. And now I've created all the arcs of my phone. I can now trim off all the excess. And I probably should get rid of the dimensions before I do that, just in case. I'm going to put them back on, and I can delete that line. But yeah, trim off the excess so that you're left with nothing else but the outer shell of your phone. And that one. Cool. I'm going to reapply the dimensions. And I could tell it's a little rough in these parts, but, you know, it, my phone fits it, so hopefully that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Next, what we want to do is we want to create the, the width of the shell, or the thickness of the case. So I'm going to use the offset tool, located over here. I'm going to click on my phone case, and now I can offset the thickness of the phone. So my phone case is going to be just a sixteenth of an inch. Yours can be thicker or thinner, but a sixteenth of an inch works really well. It's about the thinness of one of our puzzle pieces. And yep, the dimensions right over there, so I know right away that that's good. I'm going to finish my sketch and use the extrude tool to extrude out my phone case. Um, I got 0 .301, so I'm going to extrude this out 0 .32, and I'm going to click OK. 
So I've created essentially the shell of my case. You know, we can always add more things to it. But let's go ahead and make the back first. And for the back, if I just wanted to extrude it out right now, it would tell me that I can't. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch, and I'm going to click on one of the surfaces of the back. And instead of trying to redraw these parts, which can sometimes, like, you can be off by a bit, what we're going to do is we're going to use a button here called Project Geometry. And if you click on Project Geometry, you can hover over edges and click on the edges and it will automatically create a line. Now the lines usually like yellow or black or green. So if you get a different colored line than mine, you're, you're probably still doing it correctly as long as you can see a line. So I redrew my phone. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this sketch and I'm going to extrude that out. I'm going to do this probably a sixteenth of an inch, like so. And now I have the basis to my phone case. So what you want to do after this is look at your phone. Anywhere where there's a camera or controls or something you need access to, you want to make sure that you have a means of accessing it. So for example, my camera is on the back. It's on the center. I use the calipers to measure out that it is roughly 0.4. So just because I might not be as accurate as I want to be, I'm going to say 0.45. So if I'm off by a little, I know the camera will still fit. I know that it's roughly half an inch from the top and roughly the thickness of the phone. So I forgot the dimension. I believe it was like 2.735 so I can dimension that to the center if it lets me 2.735 divided by 2 okay 